Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be comparing the gaming performance of Windows 11 and Bazite operating system in The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered, Patch 1.4 running on my ROG Ally. We'll be playing through the same sequence with the exact same settings, I PC. I'll kick things off with Windows, set the UMA buffer size to 7GB, my Ally is running on BIOS version 3.4.1, install Ally's latest official GPU driver that adds support for Doom the Dark Ages. Using a 28 watts manual profile, all three power values set at 28 watts. 900p resolution CPU boost disabled. Connected my Cosmic by Stellaris gamepad to Ally via Bluetooth mode. X input controller. Show the adrenaline settings for the game. Free sync and resync enable. That's it. In game settings 900p resolution display mode. Exclusive full screen. XSS upscale enable using its quality preset. Anti lag to off. Frame generation disabled, VSync off, graphics, preset set to high, depth of field off, motion blur off, chromatic operation, frame gain intensity set to nil, lens flare disabled, launch the game. We are in. I am testing the game in downtown Seattle, one of the most demanding areas in this game. We are getting close to 40 FPS. Big open area with thick foliage. 1% low. 33. VRAM usage is close to 6 GB. If you enable FSR frame generation, VRAM usage will increase further. After patch 1.4, I don't recommend using in game FSR frame generation in this game. Doesn't work properly. It's smoothing effect. If you combine FSR frame generation with anti lag 2, causes excessive stuttering. I have used DLSS enabler mod, using that mod I was able to enable anti lag to NFSR frame generation, they did not cause the game to stutter, smoothing effect worked very nicely, way better than the official FSR frame generation implementation, highly recommend it from my side. Ok FPS stayed close to 40, you can see the frame pacing graph, mostly a flat line, 1% low, never dropped below 30. This area is very demanding, this alley. I'm expecting the FPS to drop down to as low as 30. See, it's happening. It's this particular scene. Not bad. Considering the game is running on high settings, 900p resolution. It's good performance on Windows. FPS never dropped below 30. I'll show you some combat as well. Power draw 27 watts. This is with the 28 watts profile. Next sequence, there's the horde trying to climb the fence. Okay, FPS here is within a range of 40 to 45. So dark. Another horde. Tommy burned them down. 38 FPS. Not observing any stuttering. Does that attack. Melee combat in this game is just amazing. Oh look at oh my god. That's his face. I tested the launch version of this game. On high settings it, it was crashing frequently on ROG Ally. After patch 1.4 it's not happening. VRAM usage has been optimized. Now I'll test the same se oh <laughs> climbed over the fence. <laughs> I'll test the same sequence on Bazai. This is Rock Ally running on Bazai OS system section OS build stable. I've set the UMA buffer size to auto GPU driver RADV 25.1.0 show the handheld daemon settings advanced. I've set the TDP to 27 watts the actual power draw for the APU will be slightly higher than the value which we set from here you can verify this via the performance overlay TTP boost disable using a very aggressive fan curve it's the same one that I use on windows CPU settings CPU power set to low CPU boost disable GPU frequency set to auto and that's it for this game I'm using G Proton version 10-3 as the compatibility layer play 
in game settings exclusive full screen mode 900p resolution vsync off frame generation off upscale xcss using its quality preset graphics high preset with post processing effects disabled like depth of field motion blur bloom chromatic aberration intensity and frame gain intensity set to nil performance qm settings and just set the overlay level to 4 VRI enable frame limit 120 load the exact same sequence down on Seattle yeah, here FPS is close to 40 on windows we were getting an FPS with a range of 35 to 40 here roughly the same performance you get the power draw for the GPU close to 19 watts for the CPU it's close to 11 watts Bazite is drawing roughly 30 watts of power for the APU. This sequence is very heavy on the processor. Not observing any excessive stuttering. Animation quality is looking a bit choppy as expected. We are outside LS VRR range 48 to 120. And Bazite does support VRR. I'm heading for that open area on ally fps drop down to around 35 there 40 to 43 fps so far made it keep an eye on the fps counter big drop in performance 31 fps for a second there again roughly the same performance on both of the platforms but Bazite to slightly more power 32 39 FPS here now I'll show you the combat next sequence yeah here FPS is within a range of 42 to 45 we got roughly the same performance on windows platform the other hold expect FPS to drop down to around 37 it happened on windows 38 fps 37 fps there you go oh my god look at the gpu power drop close to 19 watts for the cpu power draw is around 10 watts mazak is drawing roughly 29 watts of power for the apu windows 2 close to 27 watts not a big difference in terms of power draw good experience on both of these platforms structuring was not an issue that's it with the video guys i hope you found it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day